Hey guys, I'm going to talk about named captured groups in this video and they regard the regular expressions um, so in this form here I have a text box at the top a button to the right and a list box to show the results um, I'm going to type in just a bunch of numbers um, the format is uh, some numbers and then a dash and then some more numbers and then a dash and then some more numbers so um, that's pretty much that's a very general format and um, that's the match if we do have that format then we will get a match for the regular expression um, and the match is stored in this match object here and um, I access the group okay so I'm gonna have to explain the captured groups and what a captured group is is just a normal group like you know how you group stuff with a bracket so they're ex so they're executed first or evaluate evaluated first here it, the same the same thing happens but um, you put a question mark and then a less than symbol and then the name of the group and then a uh, greater than symbol at the start of the group so pretty much in front of the open brace um, and that's how you name a group and then when you want to access the group you uh, reference the match object then you go into groups and you can say oh I wanna I want to access group 2 or the value uh, that is captured by group 2 and um, pr add it to my list box so I'm going to type in 111333444 group 2 would be 333 and of course that doesn't work for some reason Oh, because I'm using dashes, that's right. So my group would be this center number here, 3-3. Three, three. You can also use a number, uh, a group index, so I think the equivalent group would be group index 1, uh, because this should be group 0 and group 1 in group 3 or sorry group 2 so I'm going to type in 22-44-55 and I get 22 so it obviously doesn't go by an index offset or offset around 0 you actually have to to type in uh, an index starting at 1 Yeah. So, to access your groups, you can um, you can either use through the indexer. You can e either use a number or a string. Um, usually, people use the string because you can specify the group name, and uh, like, of course, I make this is a video on on named groups uh, you can also use groups just with the numbers uh, I, I prefer named groups it's a bit more descriptive in your um, regular exp so if you would like to extract data from your matches from a specific spot in your match value then you should use captured named groups uh, the groups have a flexibility far beyond what I'm what I've presented to you in this video so definitely take a look at them if you're into string interpretation or string lookups or whatever